Well, our third time this week with this camera in the face, but only it's a much different vibe right now. It, it sure is. Yeah, all the all the worry, all the anxiety, all the pressure is over with, and uh, this baby's mine. It'll go home with me. So, I may just have to put it in the bed tonight when I go to sleep. <laughs> She I'm probably sure wouldn't mind. Yep, yep. Um, you started this career at a young age fishing the field. Mm -hmm. um, even long before that. Yeah. Because you've been completely. This is what you knew you wanted to do, and you have a real strong sense of the history of this game. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna throw some names out to you. Okay. Kevin Van Dam, Rick Klein. Skeet Reese, Mike and Ellie, and we're going to put Ott Defoe in there as well. Um, I know you, you're a humble guy, but you put yourself in that category today. What does yeah. that mean to you as a historian of this sport? It, uh, it, it does. I mean, that's the. When you look at what makes a guy's career, it's a classic title, aim of the year title. Those are the, those are the two things, but. Nobody, there might be years that go by that the angle of the year will sometimes get overlooked a little bit. But the guy who wins this, this event here is the biggest show in bass fishing. And, uh, I'm one of them now. Yeah, you are. Uh, real quick for my people, kind of wrap up what you did, the area of the lake you fished and what yeah. you were throwing again. Um, for me, I fished uh, from Louisville to Prater's Flats. Um, was kind of the general area, which is on Fort Loudon. It's kind of the, really kind of the midsection of the lake, um, what would be what I, what I would call it. Um, except for today, the final day I fished, most of my fish come from down near the dam. Um, one fish that I caught late did come from up around Concord. Um, but that was the area that I, in practice, that was the area that I knew I was going to live or die in for the most part because I could get outside that area and it was really hard for me to get bites. But when I'd get back in that area of the lake, I, it was pretty easy for me to get bites, um, so I, I knew for me that was the area of the lake I was going to I was going to focus in for the most part. Um, you know, your, your kids are up here. Yeah. I got the interview with your little guy yesterday. Yeah. And uh, I know there's uh, there's one title that means more, and Lizzie said that on stage today. What? Yeah. What does it mean to have it? Every, I mean, because this area is your family. What it does is. it mean to have the family here to be able to have your daughter have that kind of recognition for you? That. Yeah, for, for my kids to, to love me unconditionally the way they do, um, it makes the rest of the stuff, it, it, it keeps everything in perspective is what it does. You know, I, I know that God's most important in my life, they're second, all the rest of this fishing business is after that. Um, yeah, I just, I love them. Final question, um, sports in a little bit of turmoil, mm -hmm. you've always been a great ambassador. What kind of burden do you feel right now? Very heavy, really, because, uh, yeah, we, we don't know what the future holds. Uh, you know, I, there's, when, when we went to the deal the other night, that's what Dave told us, Dave Mercer told us all, he said, I love you. And that's, I, I love everybody in this sport. It doesn't matter what color flag you're flying. I love I, FLW, Bass, Major League. I love them all. I fished them all. I've been a part of them all. They've all helped build my career to where it is right now. And I'm very thankful for all of them. Congratulations, Al. Thanks, Dano.